Abby Brackett, Miss Maine American Woman of Service. Hi everyone, I'm Faith Brackett, USA National Miss Pine Tree State. Today we wanted to share with you the children's book we wrote. It's called Nellie and Ellie's Kindergarten Adventures and it's the first day. Today we have a very special guest that's going to help us tell the story. Hi everyone, I'm Nellie. Hi Nellie. Hi, and I'm going to go get my favorite friend, my pet elephant, Ellie. <laughs> You're a good team. So I'm going to read you a story about my first day of school. Today is my first day of school. And you know what? I can't wait. Daddy told me I will make lots of new friends and learn all kinds of new things. I'm excited, but if we're being honest, I'm a little nervous too. That's why I'm bringing my special buddy Ellie with me. We go everywhere together. Do you guys ever get nervous? Mm -hmm. Of course, Nellie. It's perfectly normal to get nervous in new situations, and it's really good that you have a friend like Ellie to help you. I think so, too. This is my teacher, Mrs. Humblebee. She is so much fun, and she's kind to everyone. I like her. She makes me smile. Today she taught us all about butterflies, and guess what? We're going to grow our very own butterfly right in our classroom. Didn't I tell you she's awesome? She sounds awesome! After we learned about butterflies, we talked all about what kind of pets we have at home. I learned that Joey has a pet spider. I've never been a fan of creepy crawly things, but that's okay. Mrs. Humblebee says it keeps things interesting. Interesting is a good word. My day was about to become very interesting. <laughs> Do you remember how I told you Ellie and I go everywhere together? Mm-hmm. Wow. Turns out, Joey has a special friend like that too. And he brought him to school today. I bet you know where I'm going with this. You guessed it. He brought his pet spider. And do you know who that spider wanted to visit? Yep, little old me. I was not impressed. Oh my goodness, there I was, minding my own P's and Q's, just getting ready to take a scrumptious bite of my delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I felt it. Joey Spider crawling up my arm. I'm guessing he probably just wanted a bite of my sandwich, but you know how I feel about creepy crawly things. So I did what any one scared creepy crawly things would do. I screamed loudly on my dad. I jumped on top of my desk and I tried to wipe him off my arm, but that little guy wouldn't let go of me. It's a good thing I know ballet. Those skills came in handy. I leaped from desktop to desktop trying to get away from him. He finally let go so I could sit back down, but it was a little too late. Milk cartons were tipped over. I found Maria's snacks smooshed all over my shoe. Oh no. Mrs. Humblebee scooped up the spider and called Joey's mom to come pick that little creepy crawler up. Apparently the whole scene looked rather funny because the entire class was laughing. And I'm not sure why. I didn't find it very funny. After all, a spider just crawled on my arm and my lunch was now on the floor. I was grumpy and hungry. That sounds like a rough day. Oh, it was. But Mrs. Humblebee told the class to settle down and she had us all work together to clean up the mess. She said working together is teamwork and teamwork's important and she was right. We had that job done in a jiffy. Mrs. Humblebee said we need to take a break and get all of our energy out. She called it recess. I like recess. We went outside to play. There were so many things to do. Ellie and I were having a hard time choosing. We decided to try the swings, but it didn't go like I planned. Ben was there, and he kept teasing me. He said, Nellie, look out. There's a spider on your swing. I jumped off the swing and I ran. Ben started laughing. And you know 
what? It wasn't really a spider. I didn't like him teasing me. I didn't think his joke was very funny. I agree, Nellie. I don't think that's very funny at all. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. I decided to play jump rope instead. Turns out, I'm pretty good at it. I mean, the class already knows I'm a good jumper. They already saw me jump from desk to desk, trying to get away from that silly spider. I guess they remembered a little too well. Just as I was getting ready to jump, Ben teased me again. Nelly, look out! Spider! I tripped on my rope and I fell. This day was not turning out so good. First the spider, then Ben teasing me. Now my knee was bleeding. What next? I was hungry, grumpy, and now sad. That sounds like a rough day. It was such a rough day. But thankfully, Mrs. Humblebee brought me to see Nurse Nancy. She gave me a band-aid and a popsicle. Yeah, that solved two of my problems. But what was I going to do about that embarrassing moment? And what was I going to do about that Ben constantly teasing me? Oh. When I went back to the playground, I didn't realize I left Nellie there the whole time. She must have been so lonely without me. But guess what? She wasn't. Maria took care of her. She gave her back to me and asked me if my knee was okay. I was glad she asked. It helped me know she cared. I liked that someone cared about how my day was going. I decided to ask her how her day was going too. I had so much fun playing with Maria, I almost forgot about Ben. But I guess Ben didn't want me to forget about him, so he yelled again. Look out, Nellie Spider! This time, I wasn't scared. And this time, Ben was the only one who laughed. Maria told Ben he was not funny. She told him teasing wasn't nice and explained it caused me to get hurt. Maria sounds like a really good friend. Oh, she's wonderful. You would love her. I should introduce you sometime. Mrs. Humblebee agreed with Maria. She taught the class what kind words are and how we should always, always use them. Mrs. Humblebee told Maria she was a good friend for standing up for what is right. She said teasing is a form of bullying, and bullying can hurt people and their feelings. Ben felt sad about what he did. He even told me he was sorry. I forgave him, and then we all played freeze tag. All in all, it was a very good first day. My dad was right. I made a lot of new friends, and I learned a lot of new things. I learned how to be a good friend, and I learned when a problem arises, there is always someone there we can ask for help. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. One thing's for sure, I can't wait to find out. Wow, Mrs. Humblebee sounds like a great teacher. I'd love to meet her. I can make that happen. Hold on, I'll be right back in a jiffy. Okay guys, here she is. The wonderful, amazing, my most favorite teacher, my only teacher, Mrs. Humblebee. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? Well, I'm doing excellent. Do you girls know what kind words are? We do, but can you teach our audience some kind words? Well, I think that one way to use kind words or to know what kind words are, are to simply wonder when you say those words, are they going to make people feel good about themselves? Or are they going to make people feel bad about themselves? One of my favorite kind words are amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head back to class now. You ladies have an excellent day. You too. And I'm going to head back too. Thank you so much for having me and my pet friend Ellie. Stay tuned because we'll have more stories coming about my excellent kindergarten adventures. Bye! Bye! Bye.
Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed Nellie's kindergarten story of her first day. We will be having more stories available soon, so stay tuned for the announcement of those. If you would like to buy your own copy of Nellie and Ellie's Kindergarten Adventures, you can purchase it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or where books are sold. You can check the link in the description and that will be right there. Thank you everyone for watching and make sure you're remembering to use your kind words today and every day.